Since the Summer Festival on Steam, one of the games I was excited to check out was Fae Tactics. This is the latest game from developer of Valda Story, and I believe this is like six or seven years coming from the studio. And they're kind of giving me a press key, and I had a chance to play a little bit of it, and we'll do a full run or a larger look when the game is officially out and I'm past its embargo. But what we have here is a tactical strategy game that fans of titles like Tactics Ogre, Final Fantasy Tactics, basically any title that has tactics in the title, are going to possibly enjoy. The story is that many years ago, our world and a fairy world combined, and now everybody is just kind of left to pick up the pieces. We play as Peony here, who along with her allies, the dog Chico and looks like a penguin creature whose name I can't pronounce, had to explore, find her missing mother, and of course, I'm sure, uncover some grand conspiracy and fight evil along the way. But of course, for a game like this, you want to know about the tactics. So, the game itself is built around, again, very small unit groups here. At the start of the game, you'll have Peony and her two friends, who correspond as leader units. Leader units do not die when they run out of health and can be recovered. If you lose all your leader units, you are going to lose the battle. Every character in the game has abilities that correspond to how they attack, how they assist, and how they can just wait a turn to do something special. And beyond that, characters may have special advantages or abilities, such as our penguin friend here gains boosts when it's in the water, while another character, our friend Chico here, gains health when he kills an enemy. And as with these kinds of games, your main challenge is going to be figuring out how to deal with a larger force and make use of your character's special abilities. For instance, Peony here gains the power or she can make a character become invisible, allowing to sell for more powerful back attacks. And as with games of this kind, your main challenge is going to be figuring out how to make use of everybody's special abilities and talents to deal with overwhelming numbers. Now the footage that you are watching right now is played on hard difficulty. And from looking at the forum, the difficulty will determine kind of the stats of the enemies that you're going to fight. So this battle is a lot easier on normal difficulty than what you're seeing right here. As you perform options and abilities during combat, your characters will earn experience and, lo and behold, they will level up. And Fate Tactics features a very streamlined leveling system. After combat and leveling up, you'll gain trade points, which can be used to upgrade several different tracks of your characters. And every character can also wear gear. And I believe it's one gear per character, and these items become unlocked by completing quests or finding treasure chests in the world itself. And it's just a way of allowing you to do a little bit more customization over your characters. And with that, I like the basics of Fey Tactics. And after this quick break, we're going to show some of the more later footage, or slightly later footage in the early part of the game, and when the game begins to open up with some of its more advanced systems. And now for a quick shout out to our current Game Wisdom supporters and sponsors. Going forward, all Patreon supporters will get early access to our videos. And if you'd like to continue this discussion on game design, be sure to check out our Discord channel, link down below. If you're looking for more wisdom about game design, be sure to check out my latest offering of books, 20 Essential Games to Study, aimed for first-time developers and students looking for some inspiration for their upcoming games, and Game Design Deep Dive Platformers if you're interested in anything regarding 2D and 3D platforming design. They're both available in print, digital, and wherever books are being sold. As you get further into the game, more of these subsystems become apparent, and we get to see a little bit more of the depth that Fate Tactics is planning to offer. So where we're at right now, I think this was mission 7 or 8, and the game unlocks its first kind of twist, and that's the introduction of your own Fey characters, who can provide additional backup to your three leader units. 
From looking at the UI, it seems like you can only have at max three leaders in your party at a time, but you are free to add in Fey units provided you have basically enough points. Every Fey unit has a different cost to it, and of course the more powerful or more utility a unit brings, the higher its cost. You also get the spells that you can see on the left hand side of the screen. And they basically have a cooldown effect, and you can only use one spell per round. Now when you combine every unit having its own special abilities and synergies, with being able to kind of customize your party further, does give Fey Tactics some length. And from the store page, they're aiming for a very meaty single player campaign. And I am definitely on board for that. At this point in the game, kind of the, I guess, quote unquote, real Dark Souls begins as the game begins to introduce leader units of a, on the enemy's side to mess with you. And you'll see in a minute that the troll who's kind of running these units can also make use of spells and summon units of their own. Now a second ago, you saw that a card dropped on the field. And you can find new spells and Fey Spirits as you fight. And the game does allow you to replay certain missions in order to, you know, of course, catch them all. And I am enjoying my time with this game. Now again, keep in mind, playing this on hard mode means I'm very sure that there's going to be a mission that's going to kick my butt and uh, keep, me in, <laughs> keep me stuck for some time. And if you aren't familiar with kind of these kinds of tactical based systems, and again, the focus on using these various abilities as opposed to kind of just brute forcing it, I would suggest playing this on normal. Because at this difficulty, you really have to make use of their talents. So what you saw a second ago is that Chico, when he doesn't attack, can do a tank slash counter whenever he wants. And what you're seeing now is that I combine Peony's uh, stealth ability with that character to make use of a powerful back attack. And there's definitely a lot of tactical potential in Fey Tactics. In terms of complaints or issues I have with the game at this moment, I don't really have too much. Again, this is a first look at the game, and I haven't had a chance to delve too far into the subsystems. From looking at the UI, there's probably a few more systems available that will become unlocked as you get further in. But, as I said at the start, if you are a fan of games like Tactics Ogre, Final Fantasy Tactics, and kind of those kinds of designs, I would say give this one a check. If you are more along the lines of a Disgaea fan who wants to go for, you know, full min-max optimization and breaking the systems, I don't think Fate Tax is going to work for you. But I am, you know, keeping my fingers crossed that this is a success for the developers. I know they've been working on this game for some time. And with that, we're going to wrap up this first look here. As I said, when the embargo lifts and we're able to stream it, we are definitely going to be streaming some of Fate Tactics. And I'd like to thank developers for giving me a press key to check this one out early. If you'd like me to play your game in the future, please don't hesitate to get in touch and come back for daily discussions on game design here and on game wisdom, where we're in the art and science of games. Once again, this has been Fate Tactics, and I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoy things, be sure to do all the liking and subscribing that the kids are doing these days. Check out our Discord channel link down below where we hang out and chat game design and come back later tonight for our regular streamings. But that's it. And tune in for more great content here and on Game Wisdom, where we examine the art and science of games.